Today I'll be analyzing the Women's World Championship between defending world champion, women world champion, Ju and June, and the challenger Lei Ting Jae. So Lei Ting Jae is white. We have a Spanish on the board. And this castles variation, which essentially gives up the pawn. Uh, sometimes you can play rookie one, and you're going to win this pawn back. Sometimes you can play d4. Now d4 is kind of an interesting line, because takes and after, say, like knight takes. Takes, takes, uh, I don't know, you know. Uh, I think white has a more spacious advantage here. And if you try and take like this, then knight takes and rookie one is very dangerous. Okay, so we didn't have that, obviously. Oops. We had rookie one and knight d6. And fun fact is it doesn't actually attack this bishop once this move happens. Uh, if you try and take the bishop, then knight c6, you're gonna win the queen because it is a discovered check. Queen can't block because of knight takes. Okay? So instead, we had bishop to e7. Uh, this definitely makes sure the king is not in line of sight of the rook. Okay, so the bishop blocks all the way back to f1. Which is a bit of a weird move, but really, where else does the bishop have? Like, it could move here, but, I mean, this blocks on the d pawn, this bishop will never get out. So, it moves all the way back to f1. Then I can take on e5, and you can see that these two, these are the only two pieces that are in these three ranks. Basically, in the center of the board, which is a bit weird. And this looks like an alien. Like, what is it? It's, it's doing... Like, the rooks aren't supposed to be in the middle of the board by move 8. Okay, castles, d4, opening the black square bishop. We attack the rook. The rook drops back. Okay, now this move, uh, we're fighting for control of this e-file. Important e-file. Knight, knight c3 is a gambit of a pawn. But, uh, I think white's position, you can see more clarity in these pieces coming out. Meanwhile, this bishop is blocked because this knight... So, bishop d3 takes, queen takes, and it's very weird for black because all of his pieces are on the 8th rank. These pawns have not even moved one square. Okay, bish, uh, b3. Now, maybe she's looking for some checkmate threats. Okay, d5. Okay, we develop, we protect. Okay, we push some pawns. Okay, and now... Rook e3 is a clear indication of checkmate. You know, we want to go rook g3 and then we want to checkmate here, right? Okay, so knight e4 prevents this, attacks the queen. Uh, this is basically a gambit of a pawn, really. But you maybe have some back rank ideas, you know. Okay, so instead we had queen c7 here, another free pawn, trades. Okay, knight drops back, attacks the bishop. Okay, rook. Taking control of this nice little C file here. Okay, and now we are attacking this pawn and protecting the knight. Okay, bishop d3, protecting the c2 pawn. Knight c5. Okay, now basically this random shuffling of the knight is probably looking for a draw. Okay, and knight f8 is definitely looking to attack this h4 pawn. I can't find any other use for that. Okay, so now we're pushing pawns, um, definitely getting ready for some endgames. F5, challenging the g4 pawn. Takes is a mistake, probably because it gets the bishop involved. But she plays immediately bishop f3, so she definitely calculated this. And this pawn simply cannot be taken. If you take, you are basically, you are basically dead here, because takes, they're there, and you can try and take, but it does not end well. That I will just, just trust me on that. It will not end well. Okay. So instead we have bishop e4 gambiting a pawn, but you can't actually take this because you lose your bishop. Okay, so we had bishop here, and this basically attacks his pawn, but it does give away the c2 pawn, which black decides not to take and decides to defend its e4 pawn. Okay. Uh, bishop takes knight, and now the kings move forward. 
Uh, excellent end game technique here. Uh, we have a nice little defensive move here. Rook c8 attacking the c2 pawn. So we have defense check. Uh, attacks again. Now we take the pawn and we black twi I mean white. My bad. Uh, tries to push its only pass pawn b4, but that's never getting to the other side because there's too many checks here. And this is a well-known endgame draw, and I'm sure Grandmasters would be well enough to draw this. And they agree to a draw on the 50th move of the game. Okay, nothing too exciting there. Uh, we have, so now we're going to go on to the second game. Okay, so we have d4, and this is, uh, I'm pretty sure this is a Tarash defense. You can correct me on that in the comments, uh. Nothing too interesting to see here. We have these bishops moving out early in the game. So you can see this white bishop did a bit of maneuvering. B5 and now E2. And now so did this bishop. Uh, G4 and then immediately went back to E6. Rook E1. Now we want to attack this bishop. Get it out, you know. Uh, rook C8. And try and take control of the C file. Um, A3, interesting move. Negating movement to the B4 square. But it does lie in some squares. Light squares. Okay, bishop b5 now. We move. We see the bishop move again. Okay, a6. And then b4. Bishop moves back. Now we have a bit of a weird move. g5. Because you're pushing pawns in front of your king. And first instinct is probably to sacrifice this. But there is simply no checkmate threat. Because if you try to move here. Uh, well, say. If you try to move here, then you just lose your queen. Goodbye. You try to go here, then uh, black is simply up a bishop. So obviously we know that grandmaster could do that. Bishop moves back, trades. Queen moves to b6, eyeing that d4 pawn. Okay, now bishop to g4. Plan is to take and win that d4 pawn. So we have an exchange and rook d1, adding another layer of protection. King moves, nothing interesting. Now it's very bad to take this because now if you do, then this knight gets a lot of movement, you know. It's not good to give that. Um, so now black is asking for a trade. Uh, we trade. And now rook moves back to d2 to defend this bishop. Okay, so we're adding the d5 pawn now. Um, nothing too interesting here. We're going to take this pawn here. And we have a check. And the players repeat moves. And make another draw. Uh, 